Egon comes up, and my Oberon is going to be the final one. Win and you're in for the All-Star Mile, the 125th running of the Futurity Stakes. The field is now locked away. Stand by for a start. Ready, and they're away. Beautiful line two. Alligator Blood is the first to pierce that line as expected. Nugget goes with him in the first 50 metres. I'm Thunderstruck's nice and close, about three quarters of a length off that duo. A length, Mr. Brightside, Aegon, and last, my Oberon. 11.50 out. The leader is Nugget, just from Alligator Blood. And they're a length and a half in front of I'm Thunderstruck, and then Mr. Brightside. Second last is Aegon, and at the tail of the field, my Oberon. So Nugget's going to lead. 900 metres to go. It's Nugget for Johnny Allen. Setting a decent tempo at this stage towards that top corner from Alligator Blood. And they were followed by I'm Thunderstruck. Aegon, Mr. Brightside. And two further back at the end of the field, my Oberon. So Nugget just sits up down the hill, led by a length and a quarter. In second, Alligator Blood. They were followed by I'm Thunderstruck, who's only two lengths off the lead. Followed by Aegon, Mr. Brightside, my Oberon. Up around the turn at the 450. Nugget joined by Alligator Blood, who's about to get going. They leave the fence. Aegon's got a run. I'm Thunderstruck's only two lengths off them. Then Mr. Brightside. So it's Nugget. 300 metres to go. Joined by Alligator Blood. Aegon and I'm Thunderstruck down the middle. Alligator Blood looking for a fifth group one. At the 150, led three quarters of a length from I'm Thunderstruck who can't get there. Then Mr. Brightside but the gate has done it again. Alligator Blood wins it by a length. Mr. Brightside, I'm Thunderstruck. Then Aegon or Nugget and last of the six was my Oberon in a fabulous race. 25th group one for Blake Shin. He controlled it perfectly. It was perhaps the concern for every other rider and connections in the race that it could unfold that way, that Alligator Blood would get it on his terms. And he's got a fifth group one under the belt. He simply loves Melbourne and Victoria. Australian Guineas, of course, now under the care of Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott. He won the Underwood on the hillside circuit over the 1800 metres back in late September. He then, of course, after attempting a Cox Plate, dropped back in trip, was fantastic winning a Champions Mile. And it's been a matter of control here as he wins a fifth group one. Two, three, one and five are going to be your numbers. Mr. Brightside was behind on Thunderstruck in the run hutch. In the end, finishes in front of him. It's an interesting development in the complexion of this year's All-Star Mile that will head to the valley, perhaps be run under different circumstances. But right now, based on his return, Alligator Blood is up to that race in his ears. Well, and he was first up. Well done to Gay Wardhouse and Adrian Bott. I mean, they've produced a horse here who is resuming, and he's been too good and too tough. He got a lovely run in the race, yes, but he often does, and that's the key point. He, 14, 1,600 metres, wait for age conditions. He's the one that says, you've got to come and beat me, and he certainly did that today. I think when we look back at this, though, Ben, Mr Brightside, they'll be, they'll be feeling, how did we end up back there? And, and tactically, it was quite a bit to go through in the race as well. But, well, all honours with the winner, Alligator Blood. He's beaten a few of these quite often, and particularly in this sort of distance range, and he's done it again today. Let's head out to Adrian Bott with Nigel. 19 Group 1s for the Gay Waterhouse. Adrian Bott can...